So right now we're out in the rabbit shed. This is their winter, rabbit's winter home. We've got about 15 does and five bucks, and they'll make more baby rabbits than a family of 12 can eat. Uh, they're pretty productive. Um, which is good because rabbit's one of the healthiest meats you can eat. And they're, I mean, super easy to butcher on your own. Not, no, no problems there. We're running a very low cost rabbitry here. Um, you can get into to rabbits about a pocket full of change, and that's what I did. Uh, basically, when it comes to cages, um, when you're starting to build whatever will hold a rabbit, get into a little fancier later. Uh, I built all my own cages. We've got one inch by two inch uh, wire on the front. It costs about a dollar a foot. And then originally I had half inch by half inch hardware mesh, which is super cheap. Put that on the floor. Uh, it wore out after a couple years. So we put one inch by half inch, a little heavier duty mesh on the floor which is standard for rabbit cages and that's holding up pretty good. I believe it's about a dollar, or two dollars a linear foot. So you know, two feet wide, one foot long, about two dollars. Um, it's winter and tuna cans are cheap. So we're using tuna cans as water. They don't break when they freeze. We've got homemade feeders, um, just bent sheet metal. We just pour feed in it every day. And we'll you know, keep track of them with a little tag feed them hay and rabbit pellets with some barley. I've got a adult doe right here. Um, meat rabbit breeds generally about eight pounds and up. So this doe's about 10 pounds. You can usually get a good uh, just meat rabbit uh, adult for 25 to $30. It's very cheap to get into. Um, the does will have between well, about five to even 15 if you get a good litter of kits every litter um, so you can really get a lot of rabbits alright so when it comes to rabbit breeding um, you always stick the doe into the buck's cage because that's <clears throat> if you stick the buck in a doe's cage that's her territory and they'll probably fight stick the doe into the buck's cage he's gonna mount her and kinda ride her around shaking and if he curls up and falls off she's bred now don't count on rabbits right away but um, Generally, she'll have babies. If not, stick her in there again. Well, as soon as you find out, she's not going to have them. Um, gestation is about 30 days. We'll, we have little nest boxes we'll stick in full of hay. She'll make a nest. Um, take care of everything. You don't have to worry about that. We usually rebreed the doe five weeks after she's kindled. Um, and wean the babies at six weeks. And they'll just go right on the rabbit feed and never remember that they even had a mama. Rabbits make a lot of manure for their size, and since we want to be good stewards, we don't want to lose any of that. So what we've got here is a double layer cage, so there's a cage underneath, a cage above, and the manure from the ones on top, from the top rabbits, falls on the roof of the bottom cage. And uh, the rabbit urine is super high in nitrogen, and so it will just run off and you drip off and make a terrible stink. So what we've done to capture that nitrogen so it doesn't va vaporize, that's what the stink is, we get paper shreds and we'll just spread it all up here real thick and that'll soak up all the nitrogen. Once it kind of piles up there'll be lots of pellets and uh, hay mixed in. We'll scoop that all in a wheelbarrow, take it in the compost pile and put it on the garden when it's all composted. Alright, so here's the scariest part for most people is reaching into the cage and grabbing the rabbit. Um, Sometimes they bite, sometimes they claw, but it, you'll get over it. <laughs> so you want to be aggressive, just reach in there, grab them from right, right behind the neck. Um, they've got a nice loose piece of skin there, just grab that, pull them out. Um, they kick and struggle. Just, just do it and you won't have any problems. When it comes to catching smaller rabbits, you don't want to grab them by the scruff like a big rabbit. They've got real tender uh, skin on the back of their neck and it'll cause some bruising and some pain. So what, what I'm going to show you is the proper technique for catching smaller rabbits. These rabbits are getting pretty close to butchering age. So they're almost big enough to grab by the scruff. But what you do is just grab them right in front of their back legs, right by the loins. You, you can almost get your fingers to meet in the middle. Just kind of grab them. 
pull them out. Way you go, it doesn't hurt the rabbit at all. So most people build the rabbit cages completely out of wire, but we found we can keep the rabbits outside and save a lot of money if we just use scrap, roofing steel, sheet metal, old duct work, um, you name it. We'll just cut it with tin snips, punch some holes around the edges, use aluminum wire that won't rust um, to tie it to all the other wire. That way we just need wire on the bottom and on the front, and the rest is free. All right, so telling uh, the bucks and does apart is one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. Um, I did too when I first started, but I kind of learned how to do it, and it's super easy now. I'm going to do it with a smaller rabbit because they're generally the hardest. You can tell them apart. You can tell a big rabbit apart easy. All right, so I'm just going to flip the rabbit upside down. Hold it till it stops struggling. Right here is its tail. You pull the tail down. Squeeze that with your thumb. If it's a round hole that kind of pops out, it's a buck. See, this one has a little slit here. It sticks up, but it's not round. It's a slit. So this means it's a, that's a doe.